Hey everybody, how are you doing? It's Michael from the Recovery Team and one of the most common questions these days HDD or SSD? Which one should we choose? That's what we talk about in this video, let's go! Well, good to meet you again and warmest welcome to the channel and if you enjoy more practical data solutions then consider subscribing because that's what we do here very often and we know it's very hectic to choose the right storage solution for you among the so many options you can go for nowadays but of course we can narrow down the best possible choices for for example beefing up your laptop with a lot of storage down to hard disk drives or solid state drives and we want to help you to make the right buying decision and how to choose which one is better for you Right, let's summarize which are the more popular facts about them. Uh, obviously, the form factor could be different, but that's not necessarily to be the case. There are a lot of drives which look like that, and they could be either HD or SSD. And again, HDD stands for hard disk drive, and they are based on spinning plates where your data is being stored. And the other option, the SSDs, which can have many different form factors, and more lately we have the popular M2 devices, well, with them, it's about flash, where we get a lot of speed advantages. Since we talk about comparisons, there are a few components I'm pretty sure everybody's curious about. And let's begin with the major topic, speed, because that's the most defining one when it comes to good performance. While choosing a storage drive for your PC, speed is going to be the major decisive factor. And to be honest, there's a significant speed difference between those two drives, since HDD's drives use spinning disks in order to perform read-write operations, they're significantly slower than the SSD drives. For instance, if you're moving files using SSD drive, the copying speed can go as high as a few hundred megabytes, whereas the maximum speed when you're using a hard disk drive would be no more than 100 megabytes. In a nutshell, the SSD is at least a few times faster than a traditional hard disk drive. When it comes to pricing, because I'm pretty sure that's going to be the second component everybody's asking about, I think the HDDs are clear winners over here because they still continue to offer the best ratio in terms of dollars per gigabyte. It's important to note though that in the last few years the solid state drives are catching up at tremendous pace, meaning that hopefully, probably very soon, the pricing of both is going to be comparable. But to be precise, nowadays you can buy a 10 terabyte hard disk drive for about a few hundred dollars. And usually, you know, the SSDs are no more than two terabytes. I mean, if you go for more, that's going to cost you a fortune. Obviously, if you're looking for the budget friendly solution out of these, the hard disk drive is the better choice. In terms of durability, and no, I'm not dropping it down, but definitely SSD solid state drives, they're way more durable because there are no moving objects on the inside. Therefore, if you drop something on the ground, which I'm totally not doing right now, it's very likely that an SSD survives, while with an HDD, you're probably going to have some physical damage. In terms of availability, well, Every single computer store is going to give you a great variety of options to choose from, no matter whether we talk about SSDs or HDDs. On the other hand, SSDs are usually for the higher-end laptops like MacBook Pro, where HDDs anyways can barely fit in the latest generations. As for power efficiency, which is extremely important when it comes to laptops, because everybody wants long-lasting battery. And long-lasting battery you're going to get if you have a power-friendly CPU and a power-friendly graphics processing unit and a power-friendly storage solution. Well, the HDDs having so many spinning objects inside obviously require a lot more power compared to these devices which don't have any moving parts and it's just based on flash memory. So if you're seeking for best kind of power consumption, yes, there are a lot of reasons to choose an SSD over an HDD. The most important question after getting to know all that is which of these technologies is more suitable to you? And it's very important that you and only you make this decision. And first of all, I would recommend you know, do an analysis and figure out which is most important for you. What kind of 
implementation you're going to make. Are you going to make more video edits where you need a lot of I.O.? Obviously, SSD is a better choice. Or is it going to be just mainly for storing some files like documents, music, movies and so on, where you don't need such a great speed, where an HDD would apparently be suitable. So, first of all, think about your specific requirements and what kind of computer you're going to build. Secondly, think about the budget and the money you can spend, because sometimes we have limitations. If you have 200 bucks, you have to prioritize more storage or better performance. If you can live with less amount of free space but desperately need anything to open really quickly on your computer, then the SSD is a great choice. But if you're seeking for the best kind of capacity, no matter what kind of performance you're going to have from the computer, then the HDD can be a very reasonable choice. Here's a simple example. If you use your laptop for regular daily tasks, such as sending emails, writing blogs, surfing in the internet, an HDD would be the wiser investment. Since your workflow doesn't involve any heavy operations, there is no need to spend hundreds of dollars for SSD. But if performance is what you're seeking for, or gaming, or video editing, or other intensive operations which require a lot of data to be transferred between the processor, RAM and the storage, then definitely the SSD is going to be your choice. So that's it for today, and I know this is a very tough choice to make, because usually when we build a new computer or when we are about to purchase a new laptop, we usually think about using this device for at least a couple of years, and choosing the right storage solution is definitely going to make you feel much happier with your device. One more thing, you know, that's very typical for older laptops, if you want to quickly boost the speed of an old laptop without having to buy too many extra components, and if you notice that that laptop has an HDD, swap it for an SSD drive and you're going to see a marvelously better performance. And with that, we want to wrap up today's episode. If that was useful, then show us your appreciation and hit that like button for more practical data solutions. Subscribe to the channel because we're, as always, here to help and support you to get better storage experience. And if you want to get more information about data recovery, make sure to check some of our other episodes. Well, let me know what you want to see next, comment below and tell us what kind of tutorial you want us to make for you. That's been it for today. My name is Michael and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next episode. Bye! <music>